I'm Dominic Stevens with the Westpac Economics Team. The Reserve Bank reduced the official cash rate today by half a percent to 2.5 percent. That's brought wholesale interest rates down, the exchange rate's fallen about quarter of a cent, and floating mortgage rates have fallen on the day. Fixed term mortgage rates fell last week in anticipation of this move. Now the rationale is guarding the economy against a possible loss in confidence. The ongoing nature of the, tr of the Christchurch earthquake, its tragic nature, and the w underlying weakness in the economy at the end of the last year have all created the potential for a serious fall in confidence that the Reserve Bank just has to prevent. The earthquakes punched quite a hole in growth prospects for this year, so I regard this as an absolutely appropriate move. Looking forward, the Reserve Bank has acknowledged that earthquakes tend to become inflationary in time. So next year, what we're going to see is a flood of money from overseas that's funding reconstruction work in Christchurch. It's going to really strain our available resources and create a lot of demand. The Reserve Bank is forecasting almost 6% GDP growth when you compare 2012 to 2011. I think it's quite, quite a realistic figure when you consider just how bad we now expect 2011 will be and just how big the reconstruction task is. So look, all that reconstruction work could put pressure on inflation and because it's going to last many, many years, the Reserve Bank absolutely has to act to prevent it becoming, uh, inflation becoming ingrained. The Reserve Bank at this stage is forecasting about seven 25 basis point OCR hikes through 2012, perhaps more in 2013. The effect of that could be to steepen the yield curve or drive long-term interest rates up towards the end of this year as markets begin to appreciate the inflationary impact of the earthquake. We've had a couple of data points just to, since the earthquake, just to let us know what's going on and how it's affected the economy. Absolutely, we've had confirmation of a big reduction in business confidence, so I'd, I think that does justify the Reserve Bank's move. We saw electronic transactions come out today. Nationwide, they were down 0.2%, which is quite a creditable performance when you consider that the country's second biggest uh, city was out of action for one week of that February month. So it does continue the theme perhaps that uh, the New Zealand economy was very weak at the end of 2010 but was slowly climbing out of that hole and improving before the quake struck in February. Talk to you next week.